Hey everyone, it's Austin back for another video. Um, before I get started, I want to thank everybody for the support and the messages and sharing it. You know, I really want to get my story out there and let people know what paralysis is and uh, help them out. All right, let's get going. All right, so uh, if you watched my last video, you know how I got hurt and in this position and. So right now I'm going to talk about hospitals. Um, right after I got hurt, I went to Fresno, like I was saying, and all they did was stabilize me. And then after that I got flown to San Jose, and I was in there for a month. And what happened when I first got there is the bullet, when it went through my neck, damaged my esophagus, trachea, everything in the general area. So they had to do an eight-hour surgery that night and repair everything and put stitches in and because I went into shock and I threw up uh, there's still like acid in my throat and it ate away the stitches so the surgery didn't hold together so I, I, I don't remember the first two weeks really I was so medicated but I think like two days after they had to redo the same eight hour surgery again and I woke up with a trach in because I couldn't breathe on my own um, I had a tube that goes directly into my stomach because I couldn't eat. I had IVs and everything you could think of in me. And uh, after that, I went down to Rancho Los Amigos for therapy. And I was there a month. And then I went to Kennedy Krieger in Baltimore, Maryland, where Christopher Reeves' doctors was. And I worked there for a month the first time. And I, while I was there, I had to have uh, some stones removed, like from my kidneys, and that was another surgery. And I've had, in 2009, two days before Christmas, I had a, another like nine hour surgery on my back to put rods in it. And um, I was only supposed to be in the hospital till a couple days after Christmas, but because I was so like my spine was so crooked that when it straightened me out it collapsed my lower intestine so I couldn't eat again so I ended up staying there for 11 days and since then I've had other minor surgeries and stuff and the thing that I can say is when you're having surgeries or going to the hospital and stuff for me it was music like I always had an iPod on me and just that's what helped got me through. That's why now I'm getting ready to go to college to be a recording engineer and work in a studio and stuff. Cause that's without music I wouldn't be in these good spirits. And definitely friends too and family. And just have people in your life that are good and happy and that will help you make good decisions in your life. And that's definitely how I got to where I am today. Um Thank you guys for watching. Please, like I said earlier, continue to share these videos. Uh, if you're on a YouTube account, you can like them, subscribe to, to my channel, and anything. And I really appreciate you guys showing all the support. So, thank you and have a good day.